All right, students. So take a look over here at this handout. We're going to go do some problems. We're going to do this very first one right here. All right, so let's take a look here. In this problem, we have, uh, they want us to put the gametes right here. So they're giving us a reproductive cell. I know it's a body cell. How do I know that? Well, it's diploid. I have one from each parent, one from the mom or from the dad. So this must be in the body. Okay, so that's in the body that's about to make uh, four sex cells through what process? Mitosis or meiosis? You got it. Meiosis, right? Process of making sex cells. So what do we do here? Well, remember we use the FOIL properties um, because we're supposed to segregate each. So if I go ahead and do that, I know um, you usually start with the first one. I know I have big R right there. But I know that little R can't go with it because they segregate, right? It goes to another cell, another cell. So it can't go together. But I can have big R and big B. All right, so I write that possibility down. Big R, big B. Cool, I already used that. And I could also have big R and little b. Notice how I go from left to right to keep organization. I can also have, um, well, I already finished all the combinations for big R first. Then I go to the second one right here. And I can have little r, not big R, because they segregate, remember? But I could have little r, big B. Some students wonder, hey, Mr. Vargas, didn't you say the capital goes first? Yeah, you're right, but these are different genes. So when it's the same gene, yes, the capital goes first, but these are different genes. This is talking about, I think this over here, flower color, and over here it's seed color. So this is okay. And then I can also have little r and little b. And those are all the combinations I can have for this one. So here are the sex cells. That's it. A cross between pure green potted pea plants and pure yellow potted pea plants. Right away, I'm not going to continue reading further because I know one of the first things I have to do is write down who the parents are. And they're telling me that the parents are a pure green potted plant. Um, it's crossed with a yellow, a pure. These are key words. We're going to talk about what pure means. Pure yellow potted uh, pea plant. Okay, and these all are all pea plants. Um, so it's saying that they're crossed, and they they produce only. green potted plants so produce only green potted plants um, when the F1 generate uh, generation is allowed to self pollinate the F2 generation consists of blank alright so what I start with right here is I know it has to do with offspring and uh, I, I know I need some Punnett squares here so first thing I like to do is talk about what are the genes so here the gene is, and if you figured it out, it has to do with pod color. That's really easy to figure out, pod color, because that's what they're talking about. Green potted, yellow potted, okay, that's the, that's the pod color, the thing that holds the seeds. Okay, so uh, th that's the gene, but what are the two alleles? Well, green and yellow, okay, cool. So green and yellow. So I need to figure out which one is dominant. Well, they tell me in the question that when you when you cross these two, you only get green. So what happened to yellow? It must have been hidden. That means green is dominant. Really easy there. Okay, so big G must be green. And I use little g. You might think I use Y for yellow, but I'm out of respect. I already chose that big G was the green, um, was the dominant uh, letter. So I have to use little g to represent yellow. Just remember that. Okay, so now I got my gene pot color and I got the two alleles green and yellow okay so and what I do is I put these in a Punnett square so I could see how I got green potted plants in the first place now here I'm going to introduce you to this thing I'm going to circle it it's called P1 it just means the parent generation okay these are the original parents that started it here okay so let's go ahead and put these together so pure green, the other thing we need to know is what does pure green mean? Pure means uh, that it's not a hybrid, 
that it's only one type. So homozygous. So pure green. Think about it. Big G, big G, that's pure green, right? Not big G, little G. That Big G, big G, that's pure green. And then pure yellow. Well, little G, little G. So let's go ahead and, and put those in a Punnett square. So we could see what originally led to the all green potted plants. Again, you put the sperm over here, the eggs over here. Now, they didn't say which one was male or female. And when they don't tell you that, it's okay. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to pretend that, that this was a male, put the, the sperm here. You know how we do that law of segregation, just separate them. Um, and then little g, little g here for the eggs. And then we go ahead and fertilize them. Remember, all the zygotes are going to be in here. So big G, little g, big G, little g, big G, little g, big G, little g. If you don't remember how we got these, look at uh, the previous videos to show you how to do these Punnett squares. But just down and across. All right, so now, no wonder they come out all green, like they said. They're all green potted. Why? Because big G dominates. And so all these are green, but they're heterozygous. So they're hybrid green. So now let's go ahead and, and, and look at what they ask us next. Now, by the way, all these kids here in these boxes... These are the first children or the first offspring, so we call them the F1 generation. Okay, these are the first offspring generation, and so then it says that then in the question it says um, when the F1 generation is allowed to self-pollinate. In other words, it means that these cross themselves, and flowers can do that. Okay, and certain plants can do that because. They have both male and female parts, so egg and sperm in there, so it could fertilize itself. So now let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay, so now this is the um, the F1, and I'm just going to cross that one by itself. Big G, little g, crossed by itself. Big G, little g. Okay, so then we go ahead and do our Punnett square. Sperm, egg, remember it doesn't matter, we don't know who the male female is, uh, and so then we segregate big G, little g, big G, little g. And then you go ahead and fill out the Punnett square. These are zygotes. So these are new offspring. Big G, little g. And then little g, little g. So what do we get? Well, uh, you can go ahead and then do your genotypic ratio and then your phenotypic ratio. And the genotypic ratio, I would see that um, I got one big G, big G. Cross it out. Dot, dot. I have two big G, little g, cross it out. Then I have one little g, little g. Th those are the combinations I get, and the number in front means how many times I see it. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a phenotypic ratio. Well, phenotypic means the physical appearance. So how do these appear? Well, big G is in front. Big G is always there. That means it dominates. So it means what? Green. So one, two, three, I see three green. You're wondering, why didn't I choose that one? Because that one's yellow. Look, little g, little g, that gives me yellow. So I see one yellow. So let's go look at our choices. It says uh, only green potted plants. Nope, that's not true. You have a yellow there. Only yellow. Nope, not true. About three quarters yellow. Mm, no, there's more green. So the answer is D. There's three quarters green and one quarter yellow. Remember, there was three out of four here that were green, right? Three out of four. And then one out of four, one quarter. Okay, next question asks us, if flower, if orange flower color in a plant is controlled by an allele F, big F, okay, so big F, they're saying, is orange flower color. Um, and red flower color is controlled by an allele little f which flower color is dominant uh which one is dominant come on now you guessed it of course the capital letter so that means uh orange is dominant because it's controlled by big f big f is the dominant one the capitals are always dominant right now it says if pure orange um, if pure orange flowered plants, pure orange flowered plants, what did pure mean in the last example? Right, it meant homozygous. So it's pure orange. So this is pure orange. Remember, you always start with the parents. It's a good idea to write these down and then the sex cells. 
and then fertilize, right? And you should always have the alleles there and the genes. So one, two, three, four, five. Five things we do. So they're saying pure orange are crossed with pure red. What's pure red? You guessed it. So let me just write down what I'm what I'm doing here. This is pure orange crossed with pure red. What will be the flower colors of the F1 plants? Well, let's figure that out. These are the parents. Let's get the sex cells. Okay, so you already know this is little f, little f, big f, big f, okay? One of these is a sperm. It doesn't matter which ones. They don't tell us who. I'll just pick these to be the sperm. And now let's put them in our Punnett square box, all right? Now, here I have the sperm, big f, big f, little f, little f. Now I go ahead and fertilize. Big F, little F, big F, little F, big F, little F, big F, little F. So what will the, be the flower color of the F1 plants? Remember this is the P1, the parents. And then these are right here inside are the F1. So what do they come out? You guessed it. All orange. What type of orange? heterozygous but still they're all orange completely orange done okay number two uh, it says a genetic cross performed many times produces 798 oops 798 long stemmed plants and 266 short stemmed plants the probability, okay, probability is a key word. Probability of obtaining a short stemmed plant. Short stemmed. Probability means the chances. And it's usually in the form of a fraction. So again, probability means the chances of getting something, usually in the form of a fraction. And the way it is, is uh, a little quick equation, simple, nothing fancy, right? And this is not high level math. This is uh, simple third grade math. Um, all you need to know is the the probability, you just need to know how many times the, the, um, the choice you're looking for occurred. So short stem, how many times did it occur? Well, it's 266. So the amount of the one you're looking for, how many times it occurred, out of the amount total possibilities. How do I do that? Well, that's easy. I just add these two. 798 and 266. So let's go ahead and do some math. 14, 10, 16, 8, 10. So 266 out of 1,064. And our answer is A. There you go.